Hello. Uh, before I uh, get started, uh, as the at the time I'm uh, recording uh, this video, it's still uh, in the first week of February, and um, uh, as to the last time I mentioned how uh, Cloris Leachman passed away, um, and I recorded that before Cicely Tyson uh, passed away, which uh, she did not too long after. Floris Leachman uh, passed away, but in February, um, you know, first of February, uh, Dustin Diamond, who is best known as uh, for playing Screech and Saved by the Bell and the various spin-offs from that show, passed away uh, from cancer. As uh, also uh, Christopher Plummer passed away, also, um, you know, all these uh, people were incredibly talented and um, you know they have so, have so many memorable roles um, you know Christopher Plummer, Cicely Tyson definitely had so many uh, fantastic roles. Dustin Diamond um, you know best known as Screech not that he didn't do anything anything else that uh, didn't help showcase his talents but you know he's very synonymous with that role and um, I just wanted to say that and get that out of the way before, uh, you know, because I, I might forget, and I just wanted to uh, say that uh, before getting really into the video. Um, so I know that by the time you'll see this, this will be very, quite old news, but, you know, I'm trying to record uh, many of these videos in advance just because I want to see if I can do it. I did for a little bit uh, last year, but then life kind of gets at you at times and you know and all these videos obviously don't take too much time uh, to do uh, I still just want to try and get as many as I can out and get them out there uh, as uh, soon as possible so uh, without further ado uh, the topic of this video is uh, clearly from the title is the Rocky franchise, and I haven't really talked about the Rocky movies. Um, Rocky, one through six, and then of course, Creed. Uh, yeah, Creed one and two. Um, you know, uh, uh, these are all. Uh, Boxing films, obviously, um, well, more than boxing films, but you know, boxing is the backdrop for these films. Um, and as I have mentioned before, uh, I'm not a boxing fan. You know, I'm not a fan of boxing. I'm more of a fan of uh, basketball, football, baseball. You know, more like American sports. Uh, never been too f uh, big of a fan of soccer or golf uh, or any other sports of that nature in terms of viewing, but um, I, I'm, I know for a fact I'm not a fan of boxing or, re or wrestling. Um, so I've already talked about one notable wrestling film that I really love, Foxcatcher. Um, but for whatever reason, I think any time I see a film sports related, um, I find boxing seems to be the best sort of fit for it. I know last year I talked about The Fighter, because that turned, uh, you know, uh, 10 years old. Rocky turns 45 years old this year. Um, same with uh, Network, which I made a video about last week. Um, and so, uh, this is clearly like probably like the gold standard of boxing films. It's a true underdog story, you know. Uh, Rocky Balboa is a lone shark who uh, also competes in local boxing matches. Uh, you know, it's a very uh, uplifting story. Guy who, you know, doesn't have does it seem to have too much going for him? Um, but as the film goes on, you know, he 
develops a, a relationship with uh, Adrian, uh, uh, played by you know uh, Talia Shire. Um, of course, Rocky is Sylvester Stallone, uh, and uh, it's it's really a, a fantastic film. It's a, an incredible movie. Um, I I really enjoy all the films, um, even some of the films that are seen as weak, like three, uh, four, and five are seen as uh, fairly weak. Where one, two, and six of the initial franchise are really good. And then of course you know Creed and Creed Two are also really enjoyed. Though many people aren't as fond of Creed Two as the first Creed, which it's essentially Rocky Seven, but you know Rocky's older; he's no longer boxing, which makes sense. You know Stallone is uh, quite older; it doesn't ne necessarily make uh, a whole lot of sense if he was still, you know, uh, boxing. You know, makes sense he's training him, especially since you know he's the son of Apollo Creed, who was the antagonist in the first film, but then. And in the second, but then three, four, you know, he's like, you know, uh, more uh, friends. It's quite interesting how that happens, um, I find. And, you know, so much has been said about Rocky, and perhaps I will make a, a, other videos about the, the, this particular franchise, either during this year or maybe next year or something. Um but I think this is a really in, in fantastic franchise, you know, regardless of the quality of some of the later entries, I always find enjoyment of it. I, I do think uh, 5 is the weakest, um, but there are some uh, entertaining moments. You know, the last uh, fight, for instance, is quite good. Uh, just well done. Uh, you know, Rocky Balboa... Uh, was a really good film and honestly could have been a really good send off for Rocky and didn't have to be another movie again. But with Creed, you know, that's a, a fantastic film. Creed 2 is also quite good. Uh, the original Rocky is like the first, first sports film to ever win the Academy Award for Best Picture. Uh, you know, and uh, Million Dollar Baby won Best Picture as well. Um, I can't think of any others that have one best picture. It seems like uh, boxing seems to be the film, uh, the uh, the sports genre that seems to be really good for in terms of uh, great movies with a sports backdrop. Seems like if you have uh, boxing, you know that could you know really uh, uh, make a if it's executed well and could get nominated for many accolades, could potentially get a uh, Best Picture nomination and a potential win, depending on the competition. Um, and, um, you know, while I've, uh, you know, while I do have my uh, personal preference as to what I think the Best Picture of 1976 should have gone to, you know, Rocky is an incredible movie, great film, um, I do think um, uh, Burgess Meredith should have won an Academy Award for this film. Uh, he was nominated, which was you know, great, but I think he should have won. Um, Stallone was nominated in 2015. This is the only role he's ever been nominated for. He was also nominated for writing Rocky because he wrote the first six films, all of the six, first six films. He directed two, three, four, and six uh, so, you know, it's, uh, it's interesting how this character in this franchise, you know, is, obviously it's so synonymous with Stallone, and yet at the same time he, uh, uh, in terms of accolades, he seems to get a lot of praise and, uh, uh, potential, uh, awards anytime he was rocky, it seems like. Uh, you know, he won his Golden Globe in uh, 2016, and he won Crick's Choice Awards, I believe, also. And 
so many people were wanting him to win the Oscar and uh, Mark Rylance for uh, Bridge of Spies won and, and and that film was really good. Um, Mark Rylance is, uh, does a very good job though. Stallone in uh, Creed. I think he did, he deserved it more. He really, I think that is his truly his best performance as Rocky, like since the first one. Not that he was bad in any of the other sequels. Uh, I don't want, I don't mean to imply that at all, but just how the character was written and how he performed the character was just incredible, just fantastic, and I think definitely deserved. Um, He deserved the Academy Award and any other nominate of, or awards he was nominated for. Possibly, he probably should have been even nominated for some awards he didn't get nominated for. I don't believe he got nominated for the BAFTA, if memory uh, is correct, which I think is a shame. But what do you have won? I don't know. Uh, but you know, I remember some said because you know he was in. Uh, a porno way back when, you know, and that's why he wouldn't win. I don't know why that would make it a difference. I don't think that had an influence on uh, him not winning back in 1977. Uh, it's probably because, you know, he quite knew in that movie that he was in, you know, that the porn film uh, became well known after Rocky, you know, because they re title it the Italian Stallion because you know, that was Rocky's name or nickname uh, which uh, you know it's it's always interesting to see when it comes to films that are like uh, the Rocky films or, uh, that they have gotten awards or nominated for awards and then people are like oh, the so and so should have won or they should have won this, you know, instead of that. Uh, Stone should have an Oscar, um, definitely for Creed. Um, I don't think he was better than Robert De Niro in Taxi Driver. Uh, that's me. Um, uh, but, you know, we, Stallone gave an incredible performance. Talia Shire did all, as well. Burt Young, uh, Burgess Meredith, and, you know, and the films he's in, he, he, all of these people have done incredible work. Um, though, of course, as the films go on, certain characters die. You know, Mickey dies in three, but he's in the next uh, three films. It, they use, like, archival footage of him for four and six. And then uh, Burgess Meredith came and did, like, a cameo as, like, a sort of, like, for a sequence in five. Um, but yeah, I I really enjoy this franchise. Um, it's making me, just talking about this in general, you know, just making me want to have a, 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 a marathon, basically, of uh, these Rocky films at some point this year. Maybe like eight straight weeks of just nothing but Rocky films. Um, I don't know how many uh, people would be uh, interested in that, but if any of you would be, you know, I would definitely be willing to go through each and every one and say what I like about them. Because, uh, again, I do enjoy these films, even some of the, again, the ones that are seen as weak or weaker than others, uh, I find enjoyment in. Uh, you know, there's just, just fun films to watch, and I... Uh, uh, you know, when the first one in particular is very, you know, uh, uplifting and inspiring. Um, I really, uh, I really love this franchise. It's, uh, it's one that I saw when I was quite young, and I'm, I just really loved it. Um, even though, yeah, I'm not a big fan of boxing, I just, just the way it's, it's incorporated into uh, the our f first film and of course subsequent films <laughs> of the franchise 
it's just really it's just really good it's just well done um, hearing Stallone talk about his inspiration for the, the, the character and how that got going and how he wrote the part for himself and he would never let anybody uh, like pick up the film unless he was Rocky uh, you know at a time where it's like you know he's getting offered so much money you know he was really poor he was an actor who the stuff he was in didn't he didn't get paid much and uh, as much as of course he would <laughs> later uh, get paid after Rocky came out but you know it's just one of those tales as like you know he stuck to his guns and he wanted to play this character it was written specifically for him he would never let anybody uh, buy the script from him and then uh, not let him play the part and you know that's something that's uh, fantastic you know that's something that's I think is quite admirable um, of course you know uh, good will hunting you know that's what uh, Matt Damon and Ben Affleck did for that film you know they used Stallone and Rocky as an, their example like they wrote those parts for themselves and they would only basically sell it to a studio that would let them uh, uh, play those characters and uh, yeah Rocky is just one of those films that I just love rewatching every so often it's an incredible film franchise uh, I just it's fun to have a marathon also of them and I just um, I don't know what more to say they're um, all excellent um, and with that I'll uh, just leave it there um, so would any of you want to see me uh, talk about any of these movies individually later on either this year or possibly in the uh, next year or so. Um, if so, uh, definitely comment. Um, and what do you think of the Rocky franchise? Do you enjoy it? Do you dislike it? Or are you sort of mixed? Like you enjoy uh, some of the films quite a bit and then perhaps some of the weaker ones not as much? Um, does that sort of, do? does the good outweigh the bad to you? Because um, I think they do. I don't really think of any of these films particularly bad. Five, I guess, could be the one that would be very the weakest in that, you know, it's very, you know, it's just, it didn't seem like there was as much heart in it as, say, the other movies. Um, not that Stallone didn't put his heart into it. It's just, you know, when you watch the subsequent the previous or the previous films, and then you watch five. It's like th there is a noticeable dip in quality. Um, but you know, do you f uh, think that, or do you it really enjoy five? Do you think it's actually a lot better than uh, most people say? That seems to be. I've I've heard that at times. You know, it's better than what many people. Uh, say and um, yeah anyway uh, if you'd like to leave your thoughts in the comments section you most certainly can and uh, yeah I uh, will uh, yeah, hope you all have a great day great weekend great week and I'll see you all next time